Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Simon here. Hope you're all keeping well out there. Back today with another video, and today we are just going to be looking at the brand new payware add-on for OMSI 2, the Bus Company Simulator. Um, the Bus Company Simulator is going to be released on Thursday, the 22nd of June, and it's going to be priced at 19.99 um, from the Aerosoft website. You can also get it on Steam. Um, and I am going to show you basically what it is um, today because I have a copy of it, which is great. <laughs> um, so we're going to just get straight into it really. Um, basically, I will start off the game now and um, we will basically go through what it is. I will just go through some details while I have the website open. Um, basically, the Bus Company Simulator brings brand, three brand new features um, to OMSI, which is a single player and multiplayer career modes, uh, a company management system, and economy system. The player can join an existing bus company online, meet his colleagues in the depot, chat with them, carry out inspections, organize shift schedules, and much more. After he has accumulated a bit of money and experience, the player can found his own company online, uh, hire employees, buy more routes, expand the bus depot, thereby build his own bus empire. Um, I kind of done all this in um, AOD, which this is basically is an updated version of AOD, but I'm not, it's not really AOD, it's more, and it's a lot more, believe me. I believe once you start this software up after buying it, you probably won't start OMSI the same way again, unless you're... Um, not into it but I just can't see it's not been into it because it is really really good um, and I just can't see myself starting on the any other way in the future after starting it today um, mainly it's for drivers of the game the likes of the people from the UK development team and fellow films all these guys that they develop and they make and they build maps and script buses and stuff like that these guys would probably like it, but they're more on the technical side of things and not really driving. They're creators, content creators, rather than drivers. Um, there will be a lot of different features here, like uh, speed cameras, tickets, transport, H transparent HUD, overlay, displaying all relevant information, and realistic navigation. Um, there is discounts, however. Excuse me. There is discounts, however, on this uh, software if you owned AOD and OMSI navigation you get a discount um, you can buy the software I think from the AOD uh, menu um, you'll just have to buy AOD coins it's, it's a bit messy in that way so I'm not 100% sure um, how it works so I'll just go to the home page and see how it works but uh, I'm not too sure to be honest how that all works out uh, pre-order Yeah, don't know. Um, so basically, the single player, you earn money by depots and buses, take care of maintenance of your buses, prove your skills, and complete individual tasks in order to expand and increase your profits. Multiplayer, become a staff member of a virtual bus company, receive bus shift schedules from real dispatchers. Um, Details, statistics on ranking for players and companies. Found your own company together with your friends. Comprehensive bus management, repairs, maintenance, and trainings for repairs, damages, performance, maintenance, works. Day night cycle, realistic sum positions, and your own. Chat with your colleagues at the depot during your rides in OMSI. Lots of exciting features for OMSI too. Working speed cameras and tickets. Add on manager for easy installation of maps and buses. Transparent hood for all relevant information. Navigation system for more realistic bus drives. Extensive evaluation of the drive. Right, so um, we're going to jump into it now, guys. So basically, we go to my Steam. We will, as you can see, my OMSI 2 has AOD bus in brackets, which means that when I click play, I can either play OMSI 2 or play the bus simulator. So I'm just going to click play, and then we're going to go straight into it now. Um, it's pretty good, I have to say. So it's pretty like, I don't know, this is how it's going to start. So when you log in, it's going to log me in already. It will load all your maps, buses, etc. 109 maps, 623 buses, and 2,607 hot foils. Hang on, I'll just load that. Now, 
Um, again, this is just the beta phase, so you will get an updated phase when um, it's released on Thursday. Um, so again, this isn't probably the final product, but it's probably not far off it anyway. So this is the screen you're, um, you're greeted with when you start. Um, you'll probably be asked to load a profile and sign in. So basically, when you sign, when you start it up, you will, pro if you had an AOD account, you will have to still create a new bus simulator account because it's a different add-on. So you'll have to recreate a new account. So your AOD account will be kind of non-existent. So um, yeah, so it's not a big deal, you know. Um, it looks a lot better than it than I thought it would do, you know. You ba I'm, I'll show you single player now. Um, when you click single player for the first time, it. Um, hang on, I'll just see if I can do something here. Hang on. Um, okay, hang on now. Let me think. How can I reset it? It seems to do this a lot. Uh, manager. Right, reset single player career. Do you want to restart your career? This actually will not be undone. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, so this is what happens when a career mode starts. Boom. So then when yeah, what happens now is um, you choose your location of your depot. So that basically means whatever maps you have installed, you can choose them to be your home map. Um, and start off from there. Um, so basically, these are all the maps I have at the moment um, logged in. So you can you can pick any map you want. You know, it's up yourself. So I'm just gonna pick Fraudslaff. This is the latest map I have, which is awesome. So when you click that, then you come to this, and you can uh, test your skills and increase payment for your tours. So we you click your driving exams. You click here, and it'll load something. And then it can it will load probably a route um, to for you to train in. By driving exam rides, you can earn a bonus for every line which you gain for all future tours. Uh, then you can drive a tour, earn money by driving a tour or a scheduled shift. So you can click here. These are all the tours you can pick. So you click that and you drive it. I'm not going to drive it now. I'm just going to show you what you can do. So as you can see, it's absolutely fantastic well presented you know it brings a whole dynamic on OMSI a whole different way of driving it gives you goals to set down here achieve a rating of for driving without accidents of five percent complete three exams with these 75 percent unlock five different maps and um, achieve a ticket selling of 75 seven percent so it's a lot more than I expected and it's um, it's just fantastic presented and that's just career mode for single players you know, uh, you can career mode, you can free play, and you can check ranking, you know. Um, as you can see, these are the guys that um, that are on it already. As you can see, I'm zero at the moment because I haven't actually done anything. So, these are all the guys that presented it. You know, that's PDP. He's the main man. So, these are all the guys from AOD. You'd probably know them. Um, so, we'll go back and we will go to the main menu it has an add-on manager as well so you can install add-ons um, and rate add-ons so if you go to maps it will show you payware maps or freeware maps um, as you can see you can install them obviously you can't um, install the paywares because you would need to buy them but as you can see i already have them installed so um, i don't have a few of them installed but you know so you click out you can also check add-ons for mistakes, so I will just throw this one up here. I used to have problems with Cranley. This is a, a map that um, is currently in beta and it's a left path map and I usually have some tiles missing so it will inspect it and it will tell you that I have a problem with the AI list and that needs to be fixed. You can click to help and it will replace something from that AI list for you. Um, that's the issue, you know. Now I don't know whether that's the issue that I have with the map but um, it could be, you know, you wouldn't know. Uh, missing vehicle in the aisle list, possibly install missing vehicle. The vehicle is not found, must be installed manually, possible replacement vehicle. So it kind of does all that for you. So we click out that. Um, you can tell you from mistakes in your buses, or you can install and rate add on buses from its 
basically mostly the payware stuff. It's not all the maps you have installed on the your system, you know. So we go out there. So we go back out. So I guess what we're looking at now is we're going to go into the multiplayer and see what it's all about, um, and see what's changed and what's not, and how this kind of plays within OMSI. So let's jump in there, guys, and let's see this. <laughs> This is pretty awesome though, I have to say. It's pretty cool. Let's do it. So, the company I have is called Irabus. Um, people are probably wondering why it's not called the Orison Omnibus Company. I want, I kind of succeeded with the AOD and OOC. You know, it kind of got to the pinnacle. I even gave away half of our money to Gobus. And um, I decided that I wanted to start it fresh. Know, so this is Erebus and this is going to be my company um, I will do a video of it soon enough when we get everything set up but if you're going to buy the software apply for Erebus and that will be my company and you can drive with me chat with me in the depot and chat with the other guys so we're going to just enter now and um, we will go to the 3D company premises now um, this is pretty cool you know I like this now. Um, as you can see on the side here, it gives you messages of who was entered. Now, at the moment, I'm the only one in the company because um, I'm the only one that has it at the moment. Um, I think when it releases, we'll hopefully have more people. Um, hopefully, this video will kind of show you that it's uh, it's awesome and it runs really, really well. That was another thing I meant to say. Um, Sorry, um, that was another thing I meant to say was that um, the frame rates I'm getting are pretty good and they're pretty awesome. They, it doesn't lag for me, it just runs really, really well. Like AOD was kind of laggy for me, it didn't work well for me, you know, it was kind of like, ooh, just kind of drowned itself in waiting and waiting. So, where with the bus company simulator, it's fine, it doesn't do anything like that now here we are this is the office of the the company it's night time and there's no lights on unfortunately and I don't know how I can turn on the lights let me see now so I'll just walk over here so basically I'm gonna run outside now and show you um, maybe I can't turn on lights can I hang on there Oh yeah, I can't, yeah. No, so I can't switch on the lights. Hopefully that doesn't run up a bill though. Yeah, that's right guys, this is OMSI by the way. Now, there we are. Very bright though. Very bright. Right, so we're just going to run out here now and I'll just show you it's outside basically. But I probably won't be able to show you as much because it's dark out and it runs in real time. Yeah, that's my shoes. So we just open the door here and we go out for a smoke. So basically this is kind of the the main area. Um that's the depot. As you can see I have I bought three buses already, but we'll go into them now in a minute. Um that's the depot. And the garage is somewhere around. I don't know where the garage is. Maybe the garage is over the other side of the depot. So we can enter there. Now go this way, actually. Oh yeah, this is the main area here. This is where you can go outside. So we, if, just bear in mind when when you're kind of in this and when there's a lot of people around. Um, there will be more action I guess inside, you can sit here on the bench if you want and just chill out and relax. Uh, so you can relax and just chill out. Now bear in mind, I have my graphics set on high, so you can, you have got the option if you go to the settings to lower your graphics. Uh, I have everything set on high, which is fine. Uh, it looks, it runs fine for me on high settings and I have a toaster, remember. You know, so just bear in mind that. 
when it's it's it wasn't like this last time so um i'm trying to see where my garage is i think that oh yeah here's my garage here so basically this will be my garage i haven't been in here before actually i think it's the garage anyway yeah it is so this is basically where you maintain all your buses and um, make sure they're all up to scratch they're all okay they're all basically they're all running well um, I haven't had any buses in the garage yet but what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put one in the garage just to see so we just leave that there we go over we go back upstairs and we will first show you is actually the the garages first I know it's a bit blurry now guys just bear with me as I said my graphics are on really on high so I'll go into the garage now and just show you basically this is the garage you have all your bus numbers here and when they're full they will spawn here and basically be here now I have three buses I have the L530 OG which is on front of me there I did buy it with that repaint which I shouldn't have really um, I should have waited so when you're running basically to walk around I must say is WA uh, DS uh, which is the usuals and then hold shift to run so that's the lion city there um by v3d so when you click on it when you go over to the bus you can click on it to interact with it so you press e and it will show you basically what's the story with the bus as you can see it's purchase price is 9600 the condition is faultless the maintenance is faultless you can change the parking position you can take the bus to the garage you can drive the bus, but you can only drive the bus until you go upstairs um, you know, and set a shift, which I will show you that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bus to the garage. Um, Plark bus here in the garage. Now, so go back out and E. Just click on the X there. So we're in the garage now. And the bus should be there. Yeah, in the garage. Being checked on and maintained for any damages or anything like that. So I presume if we click on the bus again, we can take the bus back to the depot. The bus is now being assigned parking position in the depot. Thank you. So that's your garage now this here is a, if they don't have permission for a model they will tell you that this bus is not available and cannot be displayed correctly because they've not got permission from the bus developer now this might happen with some payware add-ons and this bus that you're looking at here is supposed to be a man dl05 but unfortunately they haven't got any uh, permission from halicon so unfortunately they can't do it um, they can't do the 3d model Hopefully they might be able to do a custom one, but I'm not sure they will. Right, so we're heading back up now to the staff room. So we just roll on up here. It's dark over this side again, so bear with me. I'm not going to turn on them lights. So this place will be buzzing. Um, what I would like to see though is if we could change the picture frames, you know, say have pictures of buses of the company repaints, the company logo and stuff like that. That would be nice now to change. Hopefully in the future they can they can change that. You can sit down at the table and just chill out waiting for your next drive. Uh, and then for managers we go up here then. So basically this up here is for the managers. That's the chief executive office and across is the chief bureau. Which I presume be Gary. I don't know. So it's pretty standard. It's the same really as my office. But you know any, any, anyone can use it, I guess. So switch on the lights. So this is my place of business. This is where I will be conducting all my business. And basically this is basically where I keep my notes and stuff like that. Uh, you can go outside and just reminisce. There should be some sounds. There's not a sound at the minute. Um, but again, it's only a beta phase. So hopefully there will be sounds on the release. So basically this then is where all the magic happens. I sit on my desk, I assign tours and I check employees and this will be your main menu for your company. Um, at the moment we have three buses. 
Um, we have one employee, which is me, and we have one map, which is Berlin X10. So when I click on the employees, my name will come up on the owner, and um, basically, I don't really need to say much else, really. When more people arrive, and you'll have six open applicants, you'll have open applications at home, you have none. But when um, people start applying, I'll be able to look at their applications and see if they will be fit enough to drive for us. So next then we go to the finances of the company. I currently, we currently only have 275. I'm not going to kind of go on and on about finance and stuff like that because you just don't hear all that. Um, we have three buses, so if you want to add a bus to the garage, um, we'll have one, two, three buses here. Um, we have none in the garage actually. So if we go across to depot one, we have the DL05, the Manline CE two door, and the Mercedes Benz uh, 0530G Jotaro three door. So say we click buy bus, it has all the pictures down of the buses and all the buses installed. Um, if we go down and down um, and down and down, it just base has all the buses you have installed on your PC. So say the Gemini 2 some of them I don't think will have models I think the ones that come up like this don't have models um, and I don't know if we will be able to install the models onto them manually ourselves it'd be good if we could in some way do it but I'm not sure we will like then you have the, the Dennis Trident um, can't show you that though <laughs> hopefully we'll have a bit more control over um, the bus part of it for us you know and uh, they have the 0405, the city bus, uh, the 0405G, and then we have, what I'm going to do is just buy a bus now. So I'm going to buy the SD202, and I'm going to buy the D92, uh, this one here. Uh, you're going to click on it, you're going to ABCD, uh, so just going to change the reg, uh, we're going to put SD, 92 uh, SD 92 1992 yeah, we, the color we will put in Dublin and we'll pay the bus in full and we'll buy it for 9 so we bought that bus, we have it there. So what we'll do is we'll go down now and we'll have a look in our garage in a minute just to see if it's there. So set up again. Alright, I pressed the wrong button. I have to get used to that. Alright, I'm just gonna sit in again. I keep pressing escape and I shouldn't, I should just press the X in the top corner. Um, so yeah, so we have four buses. So then, if you go to finances now, you'll have to manage bills. So you have in the side here manage bills. So you click the manage bills, the SD202, and you just pay that bill, and that's it then. So you click that X then, you go back out. Please don't sit up again. Okay, that's annoying. Please done it again. I'm not going to keep sitting in the chair. Okay, so let me see now. So we have Berlin. So the thing with the maps is, guys, the maps is a strange thing. So we only have one map at the moment because we're only showing this off. So if we go to buy a new map, what's going to happen is, say you're going to, you can only pay for maps by per month. So basically, the price for one map in June is eight thousand. Then another map for the end of the month then is three thousand. So maps are not paid off in full they're paid off per month which is okay I guess um, it's no big deal for me uh, to pay off the max but again we'll see how uh, how it works out uh, I don't know whether I can buy a new map just yet because it says to expand you need a company rating of at least 28% so I think we'd have to drive for the company to make it um, to get more maps I guess so I'm not going to buy a new map yet I'm just going to show you how it works so you need to pay for a map per month 
then just have your mailbox, your stats, your settings, and stuff like that. So that's pretty much the main menu there, guys. That's where all the magic happens, you know. I think, as I said, the the whole thing for people was the 3D depot and how it works and how it looks. Um, me personally would like a more customizable depot where you can put your own pictures up um, and stuff like that. I wouldn't rec I wouldn't mind this blur at the moment, guys. It's just it's just my PC is a toaster and this is high settings, so um, to me this is running pretty good. So you can sit down there and relax if you want and chat with the guys. Then we can go over. I do think we should have more customization um, in the depot. So basically, this is where you start your shift. So you accept the shift, you go in. You can do a spontaneous tour, a bonus tour, or a substitute tour. Basically, a substitute tour is um, you take on someone else's tour that can't actually make it. The bonus tour is um, earn additional. Uh, experience points for driving these tours so um, you can drive these but I don't know why I'm getting this thing not installed and um, I asked the guys about it and they said that you need to um, basically uninstall you need to do a run on the map before you do you can take on the bonus tours spontaneous tour based you can drive anything really uh, so you click X10 Berlin not all tours are because you don't have permission for the map yet. See, this is what I was telling PDP, so I don't know what the story is with that. It seems I only have permission for the M29 in this one, and I just don't know why. Maybe if I click show all tours. See, it says not installed. It doesn't. I don't understand that. Um, why I only have permission for the M29, so I have to ask the guys about that. Um, so, guys, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, that's pretty much Oh No, you have to see the... How the bus looks. Yeah, let's go. Some lighting. It's fair bus lighting that. So hopefully when we go downstairs, my 3D SD 92 will be sitting in my depot in Dublin colours. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Really? No way. Oh, what? I don't like that now. That's not a good ending to the video, unfortunately. No. I thought they would have permission from the D92 guys. Maybe when they, they releases they will. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, yeah, so guys, that's pretty much the gist of it all, guys. Um, Hopefully, if this is a good video, this basically just shows you what to expect, really. Um, hopefully, I have swung it for you. If you want to join my company, just please reply in the comments, and we'll see how we get on from there. I think as more people join, as time goes on, I think this will be the future for OMSI 2. I think people will start OMSI 2 this way. They will use their own free play in single player mode to play OMSI and kind of have goals, you know, like a purpose for OMSI so um so hopefully this video shows us that it's okay to play um yeah so guys hopefully this was better for you I will have a route coming up next with the uh, in the actual software of uh Brodslav. so hopefully you will enjoy it uh yeah so thank you guys as always and hopefully this video has done it justice see you now bye bye